first off, like, you'd be surprised on how many, like, just really good retired wrestlers there are in, like, Brooklyn. <laughs> just like, chilling. Just living there. <laughs> like, my dad's just like, oh, yes, this is this is Boris. He was two-time world champion in Greco. I'm like, What's he where is, why he, is he? Why is he here? He's, like, He's just like, like live in America. I live in Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, all right. No, I remember like when we were in Acedia, when we wrestled in Acedia, we were like seniors in high school. We had no business going to this tournament. They, no. told, they told us it was an 18 under tournament. We we're like, all right, whatever. So I wrestled like 148 and Vito wrestled 132 just because we were like, whatever. If it's 18 and under, it doesn't matter. Yeah, we thought we were going to... And then he's like, 18, but some college guys too. And then like before, you know, it was basically a U23 tournament. We were like, oh... Like, we realized we're not even very too- quickly that these were the fifth string best guys on the like, senior level. Like, I remember like, David Baev, and then he won the world championships like a year and a half. Later. No, it was like we had wrestled for like a minute and a half, like and like two. I gave up a shot clock point, and then he fireman's carried me, but from the wrist, and I like sprawled. He picked me up from from my wrist and like between my legs and just whoosh, all the way over his head for four, and I was like, ah. Oh. And jumped, I have jumped over and jumped over for a two. No, no, he jumped over, stood back up, and, and then did it again. <laughs> But every time Vito wrestled, they would just chant Vulgar, Vulgar when Vito would go out because they knew his dad. My dad wrestled for that town. Uh, He wrestled for Asedia when he wrestled for Russia. So they had like his picture in the gym and it said like Vulgar Rujo, but like when he was younger. (laughs) Um, But yeah, that was fun. I forget who I wrestled, but I just remember wrestling first round this really, really tough guy. And like I, I had to really scrap with him. And then the next match, I was just like, all right, like, all right, these guys are good. And then <laughs> this man goes, right. he just, whistle goes, and he just goes like this. <laughs> I, I was just, like a little kid. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, he's and good. Oh, he's he, good. He's really calm. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. And then I, like, I don't know. I just, like, tried to, like, snap it down, and he, like, what was it? He knee-tapped me and then picked me up off the ground. And like spun, me, you in spun me around, put me down on my back, and I remember the uh, the refs in the the place like because everyone was kind of like cheering for me because my dad was like this like like hero there. Yeah, I don't know. He's the king of the set, yeah. And the 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 mat ref goes touche, and the, the one ref was like, no. Nah. <laughs> the one ref didn't white paddle. He just goes, <laughs> <laughs> no. He was like, nah. We're not it was funny. Not it was like funny. this. I am Jody Dake. Kyle's mom. And I'm Doug Dake. <laughs> Kyle's Dake. <laughs> well, we've always told him he can do whatever he wants to do in life. Um, and, you know, it's always, it's instead of saying, uh, don't fall down, you say, keep your balance. And it's always been trying to keep things positive. Because you can do whatever you put your mind to. I am very confident in him because he has worked so hard and he does everything right. You know, he is prepared, he's ready to go. So that kind of sets me at ease. Of course, I still get nervous, you know, but he's going to do it. Kyle's ready to take over. Uh, the guys are ready to roll, you know. Um, so yesterday we had a good workout. Um, guys got pretty close on weight uh, to weight and, you know, put some good hydration and food back in, obviously. And then uh, we're going to work out again today at, at 5. And then uh, everybody will probably, probably be on weight after practice. And then... Uh, you know, some more food, some more drink, and then wake up in the morning and get this thing going. Uh, my biggest thing is to go out there and take it. You know what I mean? Um, like, we've been working hard, and I think we've been working smart. Um, but my biggest thing to, to our guys is, like, that gets you in the door, <laughs> right? Like, your hard work's got you here. Now you got to take it. And that, that's really it. Like, the guy you're wrestling wants it just as bad as you. I, I, I would. You should assume he's worked just as hard as you, right? So you got to go out there, and you got to – impose your will on him and you got to find a way to win you know what i mean and, and it's going to be tough you got to be ready for you know the the five hardest matches of your life um and i, I try to touch my guy tell, tell my guys when they're when they're you know looking at and, and and visualizing or dreaming about these matches envision a war honestly you wrestle around with them Yesterday, the days before, they feel better than they ever feel. They feel way better than they do in practice. So I'm excited, super excited for them. Just pure excitement, like pure excitement. I haven't felt like this in such a long time. And like, it feels so great because like, especially during COVID, there was no wrestling, no nothing. I was just like, oh, I just had to like stand still. But like, 
I haven't been this excited about wrestling in a long time, and I'm not gonna lie about that. <laughs> Thank you. Keep me safe. Thank you.